Hello. And welcome. What I'm making today is an empty frame for my nephew. The idea being that when he makes little pictures and stuff, we can hang them up in the frame and clip them in using clothespins. He makes new art, we can change it out. You know, it's a constant revolving kind of gallery. So the frame I'm gonna be using today was actually here when we moved in. The previous owners had left it behind. It was bright pink and had um, foam mini mouses on it. I have already stripped the mini mouses and sanded it down and I put the first few coats of green spray paint onto the frame. So this is what I'm gonna be working with today. Ta-da! It's a lovely picture frame. It's especially lovely for being free. My nephew's bedroom is dinosaur themed because he's three and loves dinosaurs. This frame is also going to be part of our dinosaur theme. I bought a cheap bag of plastic, like tiny dinosaurs. Here they are. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this frame to my craft table and I'm gonna take my array of dinosaurs. I am going to E6000 them down. And then once they are down and then in another day when they are, the glue has fully dried, we're gonna spray paint them green again to match this frame. And then we are just gonna attach some clothes pins and then we have a dinosaur themed gallery, art gallery for a toddler. Are all my projects going to start with talking about my nephew? Yeah, they are. How many things am I doing just for him? <laughs> it may seem like my life revolves around my nephew. And it does! Anyway, this will be fun! Sometimes you don't know exactly what the plan is when you start, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Like, just gluing some dinosaurs down to a frame because you're a 31 year old woman and have nothing better to do. Okay. Um, just a thought. If this is a project you want to do with kids, um, use hot glue instead of E6000 because this stuff is uh, not good for your brain. When you're working with this, always make sure to work in a well-ventilated area. I am working in the garage with the door open, so yeah, be very careful. got a good chunk of the dinosaurs on but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let the glue dry for a couple hours I would say just for it to get hard and then I'm gonna actually stand the frame up and I'm going to glue dinosaurs right right across here so like we've got some looks like they're walking and things like that and probably at the top of the frame too so we've got a couple of layers and an extra dimension I just remembered that I also need to glue down these pegs or pins they're pins not pegs and I'm trying to figure out a way to do it because I need there's a slight height difference right there and if I let go it's gonna fall away from where I want it glued down so I need to come up with some sort of a wedge that'll hold that in place until the glue dries. Okay, I think rolling up fabric a couple of times seems to be holding it in place. So we're gonna go with that. All right, the clothes pins are in place. So I'm gonna leave all of this for a couple of hours and come back and see and hope that the glue is solid enough to flip the frame up. It's been a few hours and the glue is feeling pretty strong. I'm going to flip this up and find a way to stand it up. I think I'm gonna put it right here. 
and I'm gonna glue some little guys along the bottom of the frame and along the top of the frame. leave it like this with all these colorful little dinosaurs um, especially if you get dinosaurs that are a little bit better quality so my plan is when all of this is completely dry in about 24 hours I'm going to take them outside to my spray paint box and I'm going to give them a coat of the same green until they're completely covered and I'm gonna let that dry for a few days and uh, then we'll have a picture frame and here is our frame a few weeks later. It's been painted and left out so that it doesn't reek of spray paint anymore. All of our little dinosaur friends are still here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach these D-ring hangers to the back. It does say to use wire, but we're just gonna put the hooks in the wall for that instead. And um, I'm going to do some pilot holes first. This part's going to be tricky because I have dinosaurs to balance on top of and I don't want to break them off. It's up on the wall. We've already hung it with some of Pip's artwork. Um, I believe this is some kind of deconstructed bumblebee. And then he said that this is a monster and it's slightly terrifying. There you go, dinosaur picture frame. Ta! There's a cat and it's distracting. Hello! Hi, Tashi Bear. Who's that little kitty? You just smelling all the things? You gotta smell everything, huh? Who's a kitty? Who's my kitty? Who's my little boy? All right, he doesn't. He doesn't want anything to do with me right now. Probably because I'm a crazy person talking to myself. I will do my best to not sing the Jurassic Park theme music while I glue them down to this frame, but no promises. <laughs> Yeah, I am not strong. I still do. I do I always just have crazy old lady energy? Is that a thing I do? I don't think it's crazy old lady energy. Okay. Just crazy energy? Just crazy energy. Just crazy energy. Just crazy energy.